In the next minutes, I will show you how to visualize the IoT data of your device. We will have a look on how to create your own analytics and monitor pages by adding and arranging widgets in form of dashboards. So a dashboard is a collection of widgets which you can arrange as being best for your purpose. You can create dashboards on the group level, on a subgroup level, and you could also create a dashboard directly for a specific device. Adding a dashboard, you use the plus button in the top bar, and from there you select Add Dashboard. The properties of the dashboard are divided into two groups, the Dashboard Info section and the dashboard layout section. The menu label configures the name of the dashboard. The location configures the position in the top menu bar, those with value 10,000 being ordered first. The last entry in the info section is the icon which is shown next to the name in the top menu bar. In the layout section, you can define a theme for the dashboard and a default header style for the widgets. So a preview of the selected layout settings is immediately displayed in the preview section next to the layout section. So you could also change the property default widget margin. So let's save it give our dashboard a name and then let's save the dashboard. So when we select the dashboard, so we could copy the dashboard, we can delete the dashboard, we could use the slider to lock the dashboard. So if you lock the dashboard, so then the widgets inside the dashboard cannot be modified. So therefore we unlock the dashboard. And now we have different ways or options to add widgets to our dashboard. So an easy way is to send the Data Explorer widget to the dashboard. So in this case we are selecting the Data Explorer. From the menu we select send as widget to the dashboard and then we are selecting this from the list and now if we go to the dashboard we see the data explorer widget and this was really very fast without doing any more selections. So another widget which is nice to show is for example the radial gauge. So it's displaying current values for chosen measurements and in here I'm selecting A2. Let's have a look on the properties of this data point. So we could visualize the ranges here. So we could say the minimum value is 100, maximum value is min is zero, max is 100. We can give an information on the yellow range, which is now 25 to 50, and we have information on the red range. So now, if we activate this, so we see the current measurement. Let me change it a little bit. And now we see in which range the current measurement is, whether we are in the red range or whether in the orange range or we are, whether we are fine. So it's a nice way to visualize the current data and also what does it mean in the business context. Another widget which I would like to add is info gauche. So here I can show multiple values. So in here, we can also show A1 and temperature and maybe sickness trends. So now, what's wrong here? We have to select at least one data point for the gauche. 
and now we have 40 different sort of labels. So that's how we see this. So A2 is shown where we are right now, fits to our measurement, which we see in the radial gauge, and in addition, we can visualize some other data points. So another one which we can add is the map. And the one which is nice to show is the widgets to send commands to our device. So for example, we can take the relay control. So it's a remote control on the relay switch of our Ublox device. So let us turn this on. Now I bring a small window my device and this is our switch. If I now switch it to off the relay control so the light is off. So another one where you can remotely do something on your device is the message sending and in here so we can send a message like hello world and again I bring my device to you and then you see in the first line this is the message coming from the Cumulosity IoT platform.